Hello, Roger here. I've torn down an old C8 tractor here. I'm going to explain a little bit about removing the high-low planetary assembly to get at the clutch cup or to do any repair work in here. Pull the engine. I will do some close-ups later. I've got my model that you may have seen in other earlier movies. I'm going to point out a couple of things. The rear gear cup is about 275 thousandths in there. The lip on the engine sticks out about 260 thousandths. So the engine definitely pushes everything right up in there. We'll bring you in for a closer look at things. But one thing to be aware of on the early L8Cs, L's and C's is this pin, locator pin, up at 11 o'clock. We'll get a little closer, take another look. Before I pull the rear planetary assembly out, maybe you've seen my other movies. This was my drive, what is the rear pinion shaft on the engine. Well, that would be the front to most of us, but it fits right here. The clutch cup only moves, I don't know if you can notice the pins moving, it only moves about 40, 50 thousandths between one shift or the other shift. If I move the lever back, that would be shifting into high gear. And I pointed this action out in the model. If I move the lever forward, shift in a low gear, this is where the orbit gears are forced to orbit. It was pretty interesting to see in the model. It's kind of dark to see in reality, but that's all there is to it. Just a piece of cake. Okay. Let me get ready to pull things apart. Hey, everyone has their own way of getting to this point, but to get to the high-low assembly, the engine has to be pulled. You can still have the wheels on, the handlebars on, whatever else, but you got to get to this area. Of course, drain the oil. Immediately after pulling the engine, you will see this and you might reach in there and try and pull things and nothing seems to move. Well guess what? Just use the lever. See how it popped out? The rest of the way you have to do a little bit manually. There is the rear gear cup, the ring gear, and the clutch cup, and the clutch sliding pins. This clutch cup is in good condition. If you look, if upon closer inspection, I found that this ring gear is in great condition. So, setting this someplace, here comes the pin plate assembly. And way in there is the pinion shaft. It mounts inside the sun gear in the pin plate assembly. This one is in good shape. One of the tricks for inspection is trying to tip a gear side to side on its bushing. This one is just a little bit loose. I can replace it. This set of orbit gears has no timing mark on it. You have to understand that there are three places on an orbit gear where the valley of one lines up with the valley of the step down gear directly behind it. You can mark any one of them. I can see right here this valley lines up with that valley. I could place a timing mark there. This 
steel ring inside was shimmed sometimes as the front of the pin plate assembly rubs on that this will wear down so sooner or later you either shim that ring out or you replace the whole pin plate to reassemble it's always easier to work on one end of the tractor at a time because using the pinion shaft it's pretty easy to get assembly going normal that like so you can take this all apart and put it all back together but you've got to start it into the two holes being very aware of there are two teeth on the clutch sliding pin and there's one groove when you take apart this assembly you will see the cross shaft or the clutch actuating shaft in there it has one tooth on it that one tooth must go inside the two teeth so to kind of get it ready making sure you line the pin making sure both clutch sliding rods are sticking out a little bit and you play with the planetary assembly until you can pull it into the teeth some keep on moving you captured it bingo the rest is tapping the rear ring gear holder the rear gear cup into place use a wooden block or a soft hammer it has to go in that 275 thousandths before the motor the ring on the motor will fit in there and that's the way you get to the high-low planetary assembly